Coach Cordova, with that, just give us, uh, you know, starting three and one. Um, obviously, you would like to start four and zero, but three and one's a great start. Just kind of take us through the weekend and, and how you feel about where you are. Um, you know, we started a little slow against South Dakota School of Mines. Um, they had gotten to play a little bit earlier, so they got the first game jitters out of the way. And then, of course, when they played us, we were in our first game. And I feel like the jitters kind of showed a little bit, um, but we managed to go up 2-0. Uh, third game, we had them on the ropes, and uh, we kind of let it slip away. Um, so we were going to see where, how we were going to respond. Um, of course, they forced the game five, and in a game five, it's anybody's game. Um, but we managed to come back and actually took the lead pretty much from point one through the game. Um, so we realized we were able to really address that in the locker room about, you know, one, we got the game five out of the way early, but that we can't let games slip away because in game, the volleyball, it's, 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 it's a roller coaster ride, and we were on it pretty good. Um, so we talked about some things to change, and then, of course, Montana State Billings, a great hitting team, uh, but we managed to really, I think, our offense, Kelsey did a great job of spreading the ball around. Our hitters were on. Our defense was amazing all weekend. Um, so against Montana State Billings, just our whole game started kind of coming together. Um, and beat a really good team in three. Um, so that felt really good. So, you know, um, but we were two hours behind schedule. So, you know, it was a late night and then had to get up again and go again. And I think against Moorhead, the excitement from the first night kind of got us. And we were kind of down a little, um, but we fought. I mean, we were, every game we were down, but we would make a run at the late um, against Moorhead. We, you know, we win that third game. Who knows what the outcome could have been. Um, and then, of course, against Bemidji, you know, playing an NSIC team again. Um, we just managed to put enough together to win because it wasn't pretty. I would say um, there was a lot of ups and downs. But I was just really proud of the way the girls responded each time they faced adversity. Um, and they stayed truly, really true to who they were and what we've really been building these last few weeks. Kelsey, what's the confidence like when a team out here at the one starts? I mean, everyone's excited. We're all seeing what we're capable of doing. Um, after these past two years, we are now seeing we can do this and we're more than capable of doing it. And I think it's still one of those they don't know for sure, like, oh, it's just a tournament. But we're finally seeing, like, no, we can go up against these big teams and give them a run for their money. So. Does that make you look forward to this weekend, more of an NSIC uh, workload than a tournament in Northern State? Yeah, I mean, going up against a big tournament and there's a lot more of our teams that we're going to see again. Um, I think the girls are all really excited for that and ready to get on the bus and get there and get it done. Jamie, you said uh, after the tournament you didn't play very well, yet you still racked up 11 wins. Is that maybe encouraging that you started 3-1 and one and yet you weren't playing your best? Absolutely. I mean, I think <clears throat> anybody who watched all the games would say our defense carried us. And our offense did good enough to win, but you know, her being the setter and our hitters, they'll tell you that they were nowhere near what they're capable of doing. Um, and you know, in serve receive, we when we get runs, you know, when teams get runs against us, it's our serve receive that we need um, to be stronger. So those are two areas we're really going to work on. Um, so if we can get our offense clicking a little bit more consistently, um, and our serve receive um, being more consistent. Um, with our defense staying as scrappy as they are, then I think we'll have more confidence against going against the Northerns who, you know, they're ranked in the country. I mean, seven teams were ranked um, in the top 25 this year. So we're, we're going to need all, all things kicking for us to compete against them, but we do have the confidence to do it. Isn't that a better position to be in anyway, though, just developing the offense rather than having to worry about the defense as much on the line? Oh, absolutely. And, um, you know, our, last week I told you guys that we really stressed defense and that was our change and I think it was very evident um, this weekend um, that our defense is here to play and um, they keep giving us opportunity after opportunity um, to attack the ball and we aren't making a lot of mistakes it's just you know we're forcing a lot of things sometimes we're um, getting complacent sometimes with our sets um, so we just have to keep going forward, but yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, it's it's just exciting to know that we have the ability to do something great here, um, and it starts with the girls. Almost from that first game on on Friday until you know the second game on Saturday, did you see just your team improve? I know the Morehead game was was a letdown, but you know against Eastfield, your team.
Oh, absolutely. You know, um, you know, the last game of the uh, was Bemidji, and there you're, you're tired. I mean, it's a long weekend of volleyball when you play four, and you took one team to five, one team to four, the other t or three, and then another team to four, and you don't have a lot of um, time in between. Um, but what I was so impressed about with this team is our bench was amazing. Um, we had an awesome bench this week, and I think they helped us a lot. But what I saw from the girls is just fight. Like, they never gave up. They, they faced adversity. You know, there was times we weren't playing very well, but we were finding ways um, to keep moving forward. And so, yeah, I thought every day we got better. Every game we got better. Um, you know, I think we look back kind of at the Moorhead game and say, yeah, maybe if we would have played a little better, it could have been different. Um, you know, we have a different offensive or defensive scheme that we're ready to use against them that I think is going to help us next time we play them. Um, but let's just say in, in a week or two when they're back here on our court to open up and, uh, you know, open up conference, we'll be ready for them. And uh, I think sometimes it's good. You learn a lot about your team after a loss. And I thought they responded amazingly. So what kind of good things can you do to continue to push the team forward and, and yourself as well to make sure that uh, the three and one start is great, but that can't be the end point. How do you keep pushing and leading this team? Um, we all have in mind like that we want to keep winning and we want to keep getting better. That's just what we keep saying every day is we get better. And I think all the girls and I are on the same page of where we want this program and where we want this season to go. Um, I mean, we all, every single week, we send a group text to each other saying what we liked about the past week and from our team and then what we are going to focus on as an individual for this next week of practicing and playing. And it's really good because then we can see what someone wants to do and we can try and help and hold them accountable um, whether it's me saying I want to make our service Eve a little bit more creative or a hitter saying I'm going to work on hitting down the line. So then during a practice you can say, hey, you, that's what you said you want to do. That's where we're going at this. So now you need to do that and show us that this is what you're actually trying to do and not, it's not just words, that you're actually putting your actions to it. So I think with all of us doing that is holding each other accountable and keeping us all in the same, same momentum going forward.